Hello and welcome back to Regiments. We are kicking off Operation Sabercut, the fifth operation in Regiments. After we three-starred Iron Tide, I'm excited to move back over to the NATO side and uh, fight it out with a Belgian group that is trying to disrupt the Warsaw Pact offensive. We're going to have some reinforcements from the UK 33rd Armor Brigade and possibly the US 82nd Airborne Division. So we are again on hard difficulty. We have uh, an operation log item here about the disinformation uh, campaign. And we're starting off with 150 operational authority. So let's see what we have to call in. Now, I'm curious about the challenger. I didn't call them in last time, and I just called in the recon task force with the Americans uh, last time I played through this. I don't want the leopard uh, that's just kind of it's too light for me. Um, it's not a very good tank. It's good against IFVs, but not much else. So I think I'm going to try to play through this with the Challenger this time. So we'll see how that goes. We don't have other Belgian tanks, um, but we do have some pretty solid infantry here. So uh, like what else we've got, we've got the area recon. We've got artillery smoke and cluster bombs. Uh, we won't get to use those very much because they're expensive but maybe we'll get to call them in once or twice. For events, we've got two bad events here and one good event. I'm gonna save uh, air superiority for later. Um, and I think I'm going to go with electronic warfare first because we don't have, I'm not gonna plan on using an HQ unit. All right, so looking at this map, we have just one entrance point here at the south, and then we have to capture Ford A and Ford B. We get 10 victory points of phase for those. Our objectives are to scout out enemy forces. We can just discover them for that. We have to take out some targets at Valley and Warburg. So we don't have to worry about that until phase three. I think with phase one, I'm going to try to capture a foothold here with Calden and, uh, what is this, Volkmarsen. Um, and I'm going to try to take the forts um, just to generate, uh, get some VPs going and also generate some operational authority. So we do have a lot of scout units and the Belgians have some good scouts. So I'm going to send those up to the edge of this forest. Um, I'm going to call in this challenger task force, put them in the woods, and they should be able to pretty quickly destroy anything I see. Um, definitely need the mortars to support an assault here because we don't have a lot of tanks. Um, we do have some helicopters. I'm going to have them sit back until I'm a little more certain of what's out there. This other scorpion unit, I'm going to put them in the woods as well up here. Um, we'll have very good vision of what's going on. We're going to need these other infantry. I'm going to park them in these woods. Let's see. The striker is going to be critical to taking out any armored units. Just trying to find a spot where they have good visibility. 140 points left. I'm not convinced I need the guepard yet. Um, so let's call on our helicopters and uh, just give them a chance to go for it. All right. First thing, let's recon called in make sure we're not walking into an ambush here yes we are all right can't see exactly what this is let's let's have our helicopters go take some pot shots at it maybe we can get them uh weakened all right so we've discovered some uh obstacles here and we have lost visual these helicopters do not have much ammo all right i'm gonna get those helicopters out since we're taking anti-air fire and i think i already lost one i'm not gonna lose another they have a lot of very fast units it feels like i'm playing on one and a half speed i don't know if this map is smaller but something feels much faster about it Let's get these challengers up here. Oh man, these scorpions are in trouble. Let's get our challengers moving forward. All right, we destroyed that T-80 unit. Man, this feels fast. I wonder why. I wonder if it's just because we closed the distance so quickly. And I'm going to bring my Spartans over to support the scimitar that's getting beat up and this challenger unit's only two tanks so they better be able to carry their weight I expect to see quick kills these guys better be invincible 
All right, we've got to start making a move on Calden um, while we have the chance with this push. Got more Voltic Airs I can call in. Um, 133 points, not a lot of great options, but I do have these helicopters, so I'm going to bring them back. All right, let's stop you. Um, get the scorpions out while they're still alive. The smoke should help with that. And man, our, our challengers are taking some hits. I don't want to lose any because we don't have very many and they are expensive. So we'll have our infantry hold the area here. Whew. This is getting hot. I've got to find a way to push through and capture something here. I love the scorpions, but they are not able to hold up as well as I would like. And I'm going to get that helicopter out before we lose one. Man, these infantry are getting shredded. This, this is a tough start. I, I know the operations get uh, harder generally as you go through the game, and I'm really feeling that right now. I, I beat the whole game on medium without too much trouble. I wouldn't say it was easy, but um, there were very few times when I felt like I was getting beat badly. And now I feel like uh, getting beaten badly is the, the regular feeling at the start of these. I'm going to pull these scorpions out because um, they're just facing down T-80s here, and that's not not good for me. All right, so we've got the T-80s panicked. We just need to keep pressing the advantage on them. Um, bringing the helicopters back. I am burning through supplies down to 400. My first playthrough of the game, there were very few times I even noticed supplies getting low, let alone burning through them where I was actually concerned about it. Look at these T-80s just holding up like champs. I'm going to redirect my scorpions to take out these BTRs. And the challengers should be able to take out the T-80s. They have really solid guns on them. We're going to keep moving. Close. All right. Now, I think we've got an opening. Let's see. We should be able to push through. Pull this striker back. Thought I already pulled it back. Guess I didn't. Pull these mortars back while they're still alive. <clears throat> now I've scouted out quite a few enemy forces. Um, let's hit him with another area recon. I've got cluster bombs. I'm waiting to see a good concentration of troops to use them on. And I also have smoke. Um, that would be good if I was able to launch any real big offensives here. Definitely want to take Calden. I got 26 seconds until I can uh, do another recon. And I'm going to send my challengers up to take Calden. I'm not too worried about these T-64s. Um, that's not my top priority right now. These strikers did some amazing work. They already got promoted here. They took out a lot of enemies. All right, I'm going to recon Volkmarsen because that's going to be my next objective. I want to take that one next. And it looks undefended. Looks undefended. I didn't say is undefended. Going to bring up mortars because they're always good to have when you're going on the offensive. And 
Now, where else? I want to get operational authority because I want to keep my uh, units supplied. Love to be able to call in another task force. Not certain I'll be able to uh, in this operation, just given that it's 150 points to get any of the task forces. Um, and it's a, it's a short operation, only three phases. So I don't know if I'll actually be able to call any in. I wonder if this would have been a good spot to use the Alouette, um, the recon helicopter. I'm leading with my tanks, probably not the best idea. Hopefully these strikers can knock out the T-64s before they do any damage to my infantry. There we go. Called it. All right, and now we've got an opening. So I'm going to take a look at Ford A um, while we have the, the forces here to do it. Let's cluster bomb these guys while we can see them. And yeah, let's let's get this... Uh, Voltigares in there. Striker is fantastic to put in that uh, clump of trees just because they can take out such a wide area with their um, ATGMs. Not take out a wide area, but cover it. And anything in that forest now, which we saw there were two units, they're going to be at least suppressed. Let's see what else we can do here. All right, things are turning around. I was a little nervous at the start. Uh, but now things are looking up. We can take Ford A, I'll be very happy. We're just going to keep pressing back and uh, using our area recon as quick as we can. Do I have anyone sitting back who's not? Yep. Yeah, we'll get the mortars up, so just to make sure they're in range of anything. All right, so what's taking fire? All right. Our striker is able to see them, so we'll get some fire on that position. Um, let's see what I can see at Warburg. So that is a lot of enemies we're facing at Ford A. Uh, let's, let's cluster bomb this while we have visibility on it. We're going to be able to do quite a bit of damage, I think, with those cluster bombs. Especially being as, uh, dense as that cluster of units is. I'm glad this unit has ATGMs because they have T-64s kind of prowling around over here. Good, so we've got some units pulling back. I am going to have my Voltigares bail. I need them alive. My Scorpions are having a bit of a tough time. Um, and I know they have units with uh, anti-air missiles over here. Kind of uh, I'm debating taking these hills. Let's see what's in here. If there's not too much for enemy forces, I'm going to take it. If there is, I'm just going to bypass it. All right. I'm going to take it. I'm going to put something in these hills or in this area so I can see. This group has fantastic recon abilities. Um, so I should be able to see pretty much everything going on in the map. All right. So we have two units now that I can see. Who can I send to take Ford A? All right, just completely lost that Scorpion unit. Oh well. All right, let's let's reverse the striker. Something is firing at me from over here. And I'm not happy about it. Who can I call in? In a tough spot. Don't, okay. That's a lot. We are going to pull out and wait for some kind of reinforcements. Who can I send to help over here? Um, let's see, what can I see at Valley? Don't have enough points yet for a cluster bomb. They have, uh, Hmm. They have anti-air, so I'm not going to send my helicopters out. Strikers out of ammo, so they're not... I'm going to pull them out. And the challengers are slow. I wonder if I can have them hit these BTRs just from where they are. Because that would still be helpful. 
Yep, we're getting some fire from the challengers on the BTRs. Um, all right, I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna send helicopters in. And I'm gonna have my mortars target the Shilka. Hopefully they could suppress it. We do have a pretty lean deck here. All right. We got them out. Both those units are retreating. Hopefully I can reestablish that front line. We got 150 points. I need those infantry. Um, maybe I'll start putting together a force this over on this side to take on uh, whatever's in these hills. And I'm going to let my helicopter stay here until I get something else I can call in. Objective completed. All right. So we scouted out the enemy forces. Looks like that was worth a few victory points. Not sure what's hitting me here. BMP1. Um, what do I have to call in? The striker. This unit's definitely my MVP so far. Now, where can I call in recon next? Here we go. Oh, wow. That is, that is some opposition we're facing. I'm going to pull my scimitar back a little bit. Because if I leave them out there, they're going to die and die quickly. Zone capture. We've got Ford A, so that's that's something. And these are T-80s, so it's, it's not easy for me to just take those out, even with challengers. Um, one thing I have going for me right now is that I'm in cover, and they're in the open. Um, but just with how many of them there are, that's still going to be tough. So let's get these guys in urban terrain, so they get the maximum bonus we can. Um... I get these scorpions down here by Calden. That can help. Still pushing up to Ford B. Let's see. Get some vision. Now we're close enough to hit these guys. And they're tanks, but it's a side shot. So the uh, scorpion should, if it actually hits it, wow, getting close would be nice. All right, these challengers are taking hits, so I got to pull them back. So they're definitely taking damage. Um, just not enough. Let's get a helicopter in here. That should turn things around. Wonder if I have enough to press the advantage here. There we go. BMP's down. I'm going to move up my Spartan. Um, oof. We are very outnumbered on this side. But I think, I think we can hold it. Um, what else? Nothing else I can call in right now. They're taking losses, just not as many as I need them to. I need more units. Um, good thing the challengers are only 100 points. I'm a little disappointed having just two tanks in that platoon. I should have looked at it closer. All right, these guys are out of ammo, so I'm going to send them home. These scorpions, man, they need to they need to hit something. The 76 millimeter gun is just missing every shot. All the platoons in this uh, battle group are very light. Five One helicopter, ready. two tanks here. There we go. 
so we are going to take Ford B, it looks like. I just need to hold on to it. Um, I need to lo not lose Volkmarsen. That would be very disappointing. Okay, who can I call in? Um, I'll be able to call in these Voltigares soon. If anybody speaks French, please correct my pronunciation of everything Belgian. Okay, so we've got Ford B held down. Zone capture. These guys should be going down in just a minute. Um, one interesting thing is whenever you capture a zone, you get bonus time added. And I think that assumes that you want bonus time added. Um, there's some of these defensive missions where I'm, you know, hope, hoping we have less time. I want to finish it up quicker. Maybe that'll change in a future update. Striker's already low on ammo, but that's just from wrecking so many T-72s. Or T-64s, I think we're going up against here. Yeah, the combination of the Challengers and then my helicopters really took out that battle group fast. I might be able to piece together an offensive here in the four minutes I have left. The helicopters are just burning through my supplies down to 139 left. I might actually have to buy more. I never have to do that. All right, I see a unit on the map. Must be just someone retreating. I was worried there was a battle group I didn't know about. Looking at time, I don't think we'll have time to get a Harrier strike in. Um, Yeah, nothing else. I can call in a Scorpion. Hmm, maybe I'll go with a scimitar. That'll be better against the uh, infantry heavy groups. We do have artillery smoke queued up, so I can call that in whenever I need it. This one started off rough. I was scared uh, that it was not going to go well, but I think we've turned it around pretty effectively. Losses don't seem too heavy so far. Um, some of my recon units did take some heavy losses. But, you know, it's it's not too bad. Um, took some points. We took these two victory points right away. Um, we got Volkmarsen and Calden, which are worth 100 points combined. I'm going to need something to suppress these guys. No way I'm going to take out a line of five units. Maybe I should bypass it. Maybe that's the move. I'm just going to sit these guys down, get them dug in, and uh, start looking at Warburg and Valley. That's going to be what I have to do. I'm going to leave a Scimitar and Voltigares to watch over that side, um, just to make sure they don't counterattack and sneak up on me. 65 points left. That's a frustrating number to be left with. Um... Can't really call anything, and I don't need supply trucks right now. I'm just going to move up my mortars. Uh, I don't think I'll have time to really do another push. Let's see what we're looking at here for Espinal. Five units driving in circles very quickly. What even is this? Can't really tell. But there's something there. Um, I could cluster bomb them. I think I'm going to sit on those points until the next phase um, so that I can start it off with a cluster bomber. And maybe if I have enough points, I can call in an A-10 run as well uh, if I if I get that U.S. task force. All right, I'm going to sit tight, I think. No, let's, let's not move the Spartan. Let's move the Scimitar. Recon first. Okay, so not too bad. 11 to 31 vehicles lost. Casualties look good. And that striker, just look at that. Four tanks, five infantry taken out. Good numbers for our helicopter as well. Um, Challenger not showing up, but I, I think they did some damage, just not recorded here. Yeah, they took out the BTR-70. Um, 
but overall, I think a good start. Let's see how things look for the next phase. So we don't have as many points as I hoped, and we took more losses than I had hoped. Um, just looking at this quickly, we're, I'd guess, out like 40, 50 points. So maybe I can bring in more deployment points. I might actually have to use them on supplies. Definitely not what I'd like to do, um, but it's where we're at. At least we got the Fords taken, and we're in a good point, place with victory points. Thanks again for watching. Hope you're enjoying the game as much as I am. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on the game. I, I like to talk about it. I think this is a uh, fantastic RTS from Bird's Eye Studios. Really excited to see the upcoming DLC. Um, sounds like there's a hopefully a free DLC coming soon. And uh, really excited to see what that holds. Thanks again for watching. I uh, hope you'll come back.